Hello everyone, welcome back to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents Crochet from the Beginning. Now I know you've heard people say, tie off, cut your yarn and tie off. What does that mean? And weave in your ends. How do you do that? What exactly does that mean? Well here I have finished. I've done some half double crochets and I'm done. This is my big major project, right? Work with me here. We're pretending. So what do I do? First, I'm going to get this up out of the way so that I don't lose it. Make sure that I know which yarn I'm cutting and grab my handy dandy scissors and leave myself a decent sized tail. Clip, scissors down. From here, I'm going to put my hook back in because that's where it needs to be. Yarn over like you're going to do another stitch, pull it through, but then pull that end all the way up. Grab that there and it'll make a little knot. Just snug it down. Okay, that's it. That's not coming out, right? Well, now you've got these crazy ends to deal with. I've mentioned before that I use these little plastic yarn needles to weave stuff in. For one thing, it's pretty easy to get the yarn through that big eye. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to poke it through. And one thing that a lot of people do They'll like fold their yarn in half, pull it through to get that sort of a sharp point at the top of their yarn there. With this yarn, it's not that bad to not do it that way, but there you go. Pull it through and try not to lose it off the hook. Now to weave it in, they say you want to go back and forth three times and that will keep it from coming out. So what I like to do is I've got one sticking out here. I'll go down a little bit. You don't want to pull too hard and distort your stitches. That's one thing you don't want to do. Let's make sure that our stitch still looks good, right? Turn it around and get that little guy out of the way because it's in my way. Turn it over. And then I'm going to weave through and not just through the stitches. You want to get through some of that other yarn fiber underneath as well because that will definitely keep it from coming unraveled on you when you toss your project in the wash or what if it's something that you're using all the time. Okay, and I tend to have to give a little pull. And to be honest with you, weaving in ends is my least favorite part. The crocheting, I love. Weaving in, I'm like, can I hire somebody to do that? But no, it's all part of it. But I like to gripe about it anyway. I mean, come on, we gotta gripe about something, right? Now I'm going to pull it a little bit further and I am distorting my stitches, but I'm aware of it. So I'm going to put it back here in a sec. I'm going to go into a stitch under here. And now that I have it partly in there, straighten out that other stitch because my needle was just a little bit too long and it wouldn't let me pull where I needed to pull. Okay. There you go. Technically the front side of my work there and it uh it looks good. So I'm going to pull a little bit more on this. Grab my scissors from off camera. Give it a little snippy snip. Straighten it out. That's not coming out. We'll do it again on this one. And what do you do with these little guys? I save them. I have a little plastic baggie I put them all in and I'll be using them to stuff I use some to stuff stress balls. Uh, you can use them to stuff amigurumis. Um, yeah, use them to stuff stuff. Stuff, stuff, yeah, use them to stuff things. Um, you don't have to waste them and throw them away. I mean, this is acrylic. That's what we're working with right here. It's acrylic, so it's plastic. So it's made from a, you know, a natural resource, a fossil fuel, and it does not break down. So we wanna put as little in the landfill as we can. Don't waste the yarn if you don't have to. Okay, let's go through some of these little guys under here. Let's go up. Pull through, straighten it out a little bit. And yeah, this is just a swatch and it really doesn't matter much what we're doing with it. This is just to give you an example of how to go about weaving in your ends. You will find your own best way to do it. This is just how I do it. 
and I often drop it off the hook and have to put it back on there because I'm kind of a klutz. But you already knew that if you've been here a while. Okay. And let's go through that one and under that one in the fiber of those. And that'll be about the end of it. Okay, that's the third one through. Oops, apologies. I bumped the doohickey and it made everything move. Clip, straighten it out. And now I have a little pink. I don't know what I'd use it for. Maybe it's a start of a cowl for Barbie, maybe? It's a ring. No, it's a bracelet. It slices, it dices. Sorry, wrong commercial. Anyway, thanks for coming by today. Uh, this is Crochet from the Beginning, and I'll be putting out more little videos like this and maybe even some more informative in the coming weeks. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that like button on your way out, and I'd love it if you would subscribe as well. See you soon.